So in this video, we're going to show you how to create a new Visual Studio console based project for, v for a VB.NET program. So first of all, we've got to start Visual Studio by clicking on the Windows button and then choosing Visual Studio 2022. That's going to start um, the program. It takes quite a while to start, but then when we get to this screen here, you want to click on create a new project at the bottom right. It will then go off and look for a bunch of um, different types of project that can create. At the top, you want to choose Visual Basic from this drop down here. In the middle, you want to make sure you've chosen Windows as the platform. And on the right hand side, we want to choose Console. Once we've done this, we're going to click the top option, Console App, a project for creating a command line app that can run on .NET, on Windows, Linux, and MacOS. Click on that option, press Next, and it comes up and asks you for the project name. Now, I'm going to go and choose, um, we're going to give the project a name. This is worksheet one, and it's going to be called Did You Know? And the next line down here, we want to choose the location for the project. Um, at school, you're probably going to want to change this so it points at a folder in your H drive, but you do, see, do just want to point at a folder. I'd recommend you create a folder called on H called VB. Um, I'm going to leave mine sat like this because I'm doing this on the computer at home. And then I'm going to press next. So it then asks me what version of .NET I want to use, and I'm going to use dot version 6. Then I press create, and it creates the project for me. This will take a moment to load up the um, code editing window. Um, but once that's loaded, there it is. The first thing I want to do is I want to press on the Save Project button. Now, I can either go File and then choose this option down here, Save All. I can press Control, Shift and S at the same time, or I can press this icon right here, which says Save All. So I click that. Now, my program is going to be written primarily in the gap between where it says Submain here, which is the start of a subroutine called Main. This is the main piece of code for the program. So this line at the moment, the program just does one thing, which is it writes the word hello world to the screen, um, and then it stops. So we're gonna take this line of code out, and then I'm gonna put my code in right here. 